Hi, this is uh, PS4000 Video 10. Um, we're coming to the end of this series of videos now, and we're just looking at the ongoing maintenance of PS5 files. Um, after we've um, concluded the engineering, or even part way through a uh, program and a system, it's always good to do a, a, a backup and create a PS5 file. And to do that, we did, when, when the project is open that we want to save, we click on Exchange and back up and the PS5 file for that project will be created. The other side of this is that somebody else could have created a PS5 file and we need to restore that into our own session of PS4000. This is easily done. Um, once the PS5 file has been issued to you via email or on some kind of uh, media, you can uh, browse for that file and you can restore it. And to do that, you click on Exchange and Restore. And it says it will take some time, um, any data for the existing project number will be overwritten, which is fine. Um, we select, yeah, I'll say, we'll say it's fine, but if you've got a project of the same number, it will overwrite your project. So just be careful on the project numbering before you click on restore. You may have to uh, re-number re some projects. Okay, so click on yes. And um, I would browse my hard drive or my USB stick to find the PS5 file of interest. I'm going to restore my um, my sample project, project group zero, and select OK. And it will now extract it. It's a compressed file, and it will restore it. And then when it's finished, I will then be able to open it and continue just where the previous project was backed up. So I don't lose any data. So it's always good. I would always say um, at least once a day if you're creating a large project, do a PS5 backup and and save it just as just as good practice. Okay, it's just going to finish shortly, and then I want to show you where it will be visible. Okay, so it's completed. Um, you can run a check if you like. Um, it will usually throw up a couple of little backnet errors depending upon your backnet strategy. Um, for example, if you've got some backnet alarms backnet lights to know where the alarms are going to be sent so if there's nowhere to send the alarms it might throw up a couple of errors but if you've if you've been able to create the backup file in the first place and if it's allowed you to create a PS5 file there won't be anything of great significance in the check so to be honest I don't really worry about it so I select no for that and I'm happy now if I click on project and click on open um, there will be project zero in my um, in my list of available projects okay now then from time to time Keyback and Peter will issue a new system release and that will involve a whole new suite of PS4000 software it's extremely important that you back up and create PS5 files for each of your open projects now Luckily, Keyback and Peter have implemented a tool for multiple project backing up. Okay, so this doesn't mean you have to open up each project and create a separate file. The software will do that for you. And to do that, we click on Exchange. Oh, sorry, no, we don't. We click on Settings and Maintenance. And we can select to back up multiple projects. Or if we were that desperate, we could delete multiple projects, which we don't really want to do. So we're going to select Back Up Multiple Projects and I can select all and I can say OK and it will create individual PS5 files for each of my projects so please please do that before you upgrade okay if something goes wrong during the upgrade and you have to remove the entire installation of PS4000 you will lose all your database context context and any files that haven't been created as PS5 files you will only have um, some of the some of the data in there it won't save all of your work because you haven't created a ps5 file the individual controller files will still be available to you and you can restore those but it's much much better if you create the ps5 file can't stress that enough hope that's clear um, and i hope you've uh, got enough out of this video if you if you have any questions again please come back to us or raise a question uh, against the video on YouTube or even on our online blog. Thank you very much.